talk about this awesome, amazing piece of tech here in front of me, the Dell UltraSharp 34 inch ultra wide monitor. So I got this thing a little bit ago as a solution to a ton of the problems I had with my current setup. Currently I have two 28 inch Samsung 4K monitors that I got over a year ago. And for the most part they do a pretty good job. They do have a lot of issues though. The monitors often turn off and need to be unplugged before they will turn back on. They also have different intensities of brightness despite having the same settings in windows and in the monitors on screen menu. They have some pretty heavy wobble when typing because of the bad stand design. They are only 60 hertz and the on screen navigation is just awful. Oh, and it doesn't have any vase amounts. In comes the Dell Ultrawide. I wanted something with more consistent and reliable colors, something that had a high refresh rate, something that was 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and ideally something that was at least higher than 1080p. So after a ton of research, I landed on the Dell U3415W. So to start off, the monitor has a super beefy stand that lets you rotate, swivel, and raise the display up or down. As for connectivity, it has an HDMI 2.0 port, a MHL port, a mini display port, a regular display port, and a display port output for multi-stream transport, audio line out, two USB 3.0 upstreams, and four USB 3.0 ports. That's a lot of connectors. The monitor itself has a resolution of 3440 by 1440, a refresh rate of 60 Hz, has an sRGB rating of 99% with an average delta E of less than 3, and is 34 inches diagonally. So the MSRP for this thing is $1199, which is crazy. I can't afford that. And if I could, why not just get the Predator X34 that just came out recently? Almost identical specs in every way, but you can achieve almost 100 hertz of refresh rate for only $100 more. Well, because despite the MSRP being $1,200, I picked up my Dell for $699 on Amazon. This thing is an absolute steal at that price. It's actually a steal at any price, but the fact that I got mine for sub $800 is insane. So when I got this monitor, I shoved aside my two 4K monitors and plopped this guy right in the middle, and boy oh boy does it look nice. I immediately set the response time from normal to fast, turned up the brightness, and edited the contrast ratio to taste. And then I got to testing. First thing I noticed when I started looking at it was that this thing looks amazing. The difference between this and my old monitors was very obvious. One has amazing colors and incredible contrast, and the other has cleaner lines and crisper edges due to it being 4K and having those extra pixels. So while I did notice the lack of crisp details on the icons and text due to me downgrading from 4K to 1440p, it is totally worth it for way better colors, more uniform brightness, and much better contrast. So after seeing how good it looked on my desktop, I obviously had to test it out in some games. I opened up Counter Strike Go and I immediately breathed a sigh of relief as I knew I had made the right purchase. Upgrading to a bigger screen is one thing. Upgrading from a TN panel to an IPS panel is one thing. Upgrading to a curved monitor that subtly immerses you in the game is one thing, but when you do them all at once, it will blow your freaking mind. I could hardly look away from this monitor to write this review. It's like a kid at Christmas. I just keep staring at this monitor. Oh, and you know one thing that I forgot to mention up until this point? You can overclock this thing. I tried to overclock my old monitors to try and go above 60 hertz, but had no luck. And I had read about people overclocking this monitor, but when I actually tried it, I was very surprised to find that it just worked. I first tried to go all the way up to 85 hertz being optimistic, and of course, failed. Then I tried 75 hertz and then 80 hertz, and both worked perfectly. That's right, on this Dell monitor that I got for $699, I not only have 1440p, 21 by 9 aspect ratio and amazing colors in picture, but I have 80 hertz refresh rate, which is insane. It did not help my CSGO skills. Okay, okay, so what's the downside? What's wrong with this monitor? Well, a few people online have complained about backlight bleed being very bad on their models. On mine, I have a tiny, tiny amount in the top corners, but overall, it was great for me. Other people have complained about the inconsistency in the amount the monitor can be overclocked, so your mileage may vary. My only issue with these type of complaints is while they are real and valid, they are on a case-by-case -case basis and there is no way to control it. I did feel like Dell put in some serious effort with quality control on this monitor, as I got a calibration report that had tons of information about my monitor's color gambit and backlight bleed for my specific unit, which is pretty cool. 
In fact, in my particular model, I had an average delta E of less than two, so that's nice. All right, so let's wrap this up. What's the moral of the story on this monitor? I honestly have not one thing to complain about on my unit except for the fact that finding native 21x9 content is really hard to do. But as for the monitor itself, I don't want to say it's perfect because I would love a higher refresh rate and a 4K display, but I honestly can't think of any reason not to get this thing if you're in the market for an ultra wide. It's not that it just has tons of awesome specs and you can overclock it. It's because of the specs in combination with the price. When compared to the Acer XR34 1CK from Amazon, the only difference is the price when you consider that you can easily overclock the Dell to the same 75 Hz that the Acer totes. So I'm not saying that you have to get an ultra wide, but if you are, you should be getting this one. If you liked the video, Please subscribe for more videos like this, and if you guys have any thoughts in the video, feel free to like or comment below. Later guys.